Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we have the long-awaited part 3 of this mini-series officially titled Wish It Were Me. As always I hate to keep you guys waiting so sit back and enjoy the show. In which Iwezumi tries to guess Oikawa's crush and is surprised at how much he cares what the answer is. Part 3, Final. Previously. Do you actually think you know who it is? I, don't know. I think. I want some more time to think about it. I don't want to lose you. Oikawa stares at him out of the corner of his eyes for a few seconds. Huh. I think you know, Iwa. It really is, me? Dot dot dot. But sure, you can think. You still have a day and a half after all. Huh. Well, let's stop talking about this then. I have some juicy tea to share. Oh god. What even is juicy tea? Tea is by definition juicy. It's a figure of speech, Iwa. I know I'm just saying it makes no sense. Figures of speech rarely make sense. Fair. Anyways like I was saying. You asking me about Sugara and Daichi reminded me of them. So I texted Suga the other day. Oh god. Why would you do that? Karasuno doesn't even like us. Hush. After some solid oika nagging. You didn't. Stupid ka why would you go by the other people? Let me finish jeez. Alright alright. I managed to get him to spill about him and Daichi. What does that even mean? Iwa. They're dating. Dating. Dot dot dot. Oh. Wow. Right? Not even their whole team knows. And how did you even get them to tell you? TCH, what do you mean Iwa? Who could resist me? I am the epitome of charm and charisma. You're in the presence of a literal deity. Closed fist with light skin tone. Ow. Would you punch a deity, IWA? You are especially ridiculous today. Ha ha. Ah, but really. Imagine that. Mom and dad of Karasuno dating. I thought this wouldn't be surprising to you though. Didn't you already know Sugara like Daichi? Yes, but... I didn't think either would actually confess and get together. Why not? Neither of them are cowardly. Ha. Huh. It takes a lot more bravery to confess to your best friend, Iwa. True. Dot dot dot. The silence stretched between them. After a while, Iwezumi couldn't take it anymore. So what, are you and Sugara best friends now? Knew I could never replace you, Iwa. That's literally not what I meant but okay. But he's fun to talk to. Especially about all the budding couples on our team's relieved face. What? The budding couples. The romance. It's everywhere. Oikawa spins in a circle and Iwezumi bites back a smile. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oikawa stops abruptly to gape at Iwezumi. Iwa, I know you're hopelessly dense but you aren't serious, right? Dead serious. No. That entire game we played against Karasuno. You did not pick up a singular sexual tension vibe? Not a single one? No. I think you're overthinking things Oikawa. The horniness is spreading. G-A-H. How dare you. I am not that horny. The lady walking her dog across the street shoots them a dirty look. Sorry. She waves them off and continues walking. Lmeo. Seriously I I I'm not. Suga confirmed it. MMHMM. -M -M. There's the shy pinch server and the salty glasses one. I thought they were just friends. Of course you did. What? It's not like two guys can't just be best friends geez. I know but there is a different vibe. Shut up about the vibes. No. Iwezumi reaches out to hit Oika but the setter dances away nimbly. And then there's Chibi-chan and my dear pupil. Okay I can kinda see that one. Kagiyama has changed a lot and I think it's because of that guy. I agree. And then? Oh my god there's more? They're super soft ace and the super brash receiver. No. Okay that one. Where did you even get that one? Okay Suga told me about that one, I'm not about to fight him on it. Wow. They would be kind of cute though. Aw Iwa you think a couple is cute? Yeah why is that a shock? I thought you were completely cold to romance ow. Closed fist with light skin tone. Do you ever shut up? No. Anyways and then. You're kidding. Well there's that bald one and their gorgeous manager. Last time I checked he wasn't getting anywhere with her. That's what I thought too but. Apparently she's just really good at hiding her feelings. Huh. Well good luck to him. I gotta hand it to that guy, he's determined. Yee. Hmm. Well what did you mean when you said our teams? Hmm. Budding romance on our teams. Besides Maki and Matsun. Who else, on our team? New. No, you don't even see it on our team? No. 
Hey, hey. I would. What? Sai. You really are the team mom. Oh, I. I am not your mom. Only a mom could never imagine their children dating. Stop with the terrible analogies. Just tell me who it is. All right, all right. Man, what would you do without me? I don't know, probably fall off a cliff. Gasp. No, I was being sarcastic, damn it. TCH. All right, okay. First off, your dear pupil and my dear pupil. You have too many pupils, be more specific. Ugh. Mad dog and Yahaba. But they're always arguing. That doesn't even make sense. Exactly. The tension. Oh my god. Whatever, okay, who next? Rudy. Obviously, Kunami and Kindaichi. All right, maybe. But wait, no. Kindaichi dated the small Karasuno manager. PSH, don't worry about that. Mark my words. Kinkuni will sail. Kinkuni? Ship name, Iwa. Okay, okay, God. I still think this is all juvenile. Whatever, Iwa. Like ship names? Are you 12? As a matter of a fact, my personality is destined to be youthful forever. So maybe I am. Cringe. Rude. Dot dot dot. Also is literally everyone gay. I feel like the numbers don't add up. Statistically there should not be this many gay people in a group. Are you trying to science I fee gayness? No. I'm just saying. Besides, not everyone. Like who? Dot dot dot. You. Dot dot dot. Right? I. You're going to have to tell him eventually. Iwa? I'm B. What? What? Oka stops walking and stares at him. What? Is that really surprising? But you. You are the embodiment of straight. What? No I'm not. Yes you are. Don't be stupid Oikawa. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't even realize until recently, stupid. Don't make eye contact don't make eye contact. Dot dot dot. Is that so? Yes. And how recently would that be? I can't exactly say. I feel like I've always known, but only accepted a day or two ago. Damn, this is nerve-wracking. Hmm. And, how did you realize? I, I realized I liked someone. A guy? A guy. Holy shit, my heart. Oh, don't look at me like that. They arrive at the intersection where they have to part ways a second later. I'll see you tomorrow, Oikawa. Yeah. Bye, Iwa. Iwezumi just lifts a hand up in response, and briskly walks off to his house. To himself. I'll tell him soon. Group chat, Grand King Crown. Mackie, Matson. 5.12 p.m. Mackie, Matson. Iwa is B? Wow. Shocker. I am truly and deeply astounded. You guys knew? No. Not at all. No knowledge whatsoever. Guis. Also he said he realized he liked someone recently. Oh wow he told you that? Iwezumi is growing up. Truly a moving moment. Earth shattering. Guys come on. Do you think it's me? Definitely not. Absolutely zero chance. If it was you I'd fall off the face of the earth in surprise. Dot dot dot. You guys are such teases. I hate you both. We love you. Three. Circumflex. Ugh. Serious question though. If he does say he likes you, what are you going to do? I mean, tell him I like him too. What else? You're not afraid of changing your relationship? Not really. You guys forget, I've had years to come to terms with this. My feelings aren't going away. I'm willing to take the risk. Dot dot dot. All right well I'm glad. He's being smart for once. Good job. TCH. We're rooting for you. Yeah. I know. Thanks guys. But if you guys get together I expect to be paid 500 yen. Question mark? Why? Because that's how much it cost me. What cost you? You'll see. What the heck? Days left to guess I cause crush 1. 1.22 AM. Is it me? 1.55 AM. It's always been you. The next morning, Iwezumi walks to Oikawa's house early again, toying with a single, long-stemmed rose in his fingers. Thorns removed, of course, because Oikawa would definitely prick his fingers and Iwezumi doesn't need that headache in his life. Oikawa's last message replays over and over in his mind. It's always been you. 
Just thinking about it makes him start to smile, and he consciously fights to keep his face straight. He arrives at Oikawa's house and sits down on the porch, thinking, what happens now? Should I tell him I like him? He already knows that right? No, I need to tell him. Are we still friends? If not, what are we? I'm going to get a migraine from this. The door creaks open behind him, and Iwaizumi tenses. Oh, Iwa. What are you doing here? For some reason, Iwaizumi can't find it in himself to turn around and face Oikawa. So he sits there frozen, rose still in his hands. I woke up early, so. I see. Oikawa pads over to him and sits down next to him. Iwaizumi hears him take in a sharp breath. Is that? Who is that for? At that question Iwaizumi snapped out of his frozen state and looked Oikawa in the eye. Who could it be for? Dot dot dot. Iwaizumi, you dumbass. Be nice for once and stop ruining your chance. It's for you, stupid. No why did you say stupid, why, self? For, me? At least he seems unbothered by the stupid. I mean, yet. Yeah. Why? Oh my fucking god. Why? Why do people usually get other people roses? Just say it. Dot dot dot. Iwaizumi takes a deep breath. Because I. I mean. I like you. Oikawa's eyes are impossibly big, staring at him in shock. Idiot. Why did you say that oh my fucking. Sorry I didn't mean. Ah I suck at this. A slow smile spreads across Oikawa's face. Iwa. You're almost as red as this rose. Iwaizumi stares at him. What? I mean, who knew you were even capable of being romantic? And you're getting all flustered. Wow I never thought I'd see the day. Fuck you. Iwaizumi reaches out and shoves his shoulder, and Oikawa tumbles over, laughing. He pisses me off, but this, this feels right. Ahaha you should have seen your face. I hate you. No you don't. Oikawa sits up, cheeks flushed and grinning. You like me. Dot dot dot. Ahaha you're blushing again. So cute. Shut up. It's okay, Iwa. I like you too. Even if it took you years to figure it out. I. Worth the wait. Oikawa's smile is disarming, and Iwaizumi can only stare. Well, come on. We're going to be late. Yet. Yeah. The two stand up and start making their way to school. Iwaizumi watches Oikawa as they walk, still disbelieving of what just happened. You. Are amazing. Huh? Shit. Did I say that out loud? Iwaizumi watches Oikawa turn pink, and now he understands why Oikawa gets a kick out of him blushing. Um. Oh how the tables have turned. Hey, Oikawa. MHM? You're amazing. And I don't know what I did to deserve you. Bingo. What? Stop it. Iwaizumi continues with a newfound courage. I can't believe I got lucky enough to get my best friend to like me back. Especially when there's someone as perfect as you. Stop. Iwa you're not ally wed. Iwaizumi can't stop grinning, his newfound power was amazing. I'm not allowed to compliment you? No. But you love compliments. No. Yes. Oikawa splutters for a few seconds before jumping on Iwaizumi. What the fuck? You're carrying me to school. At least give me a warning, jeez. Iwaizumi shuffles Oikawa into a piggyback position. Oikawa is silent for a few seconds, and his breath tickles the back of Iwaizumi's neck. Wait, you're not going to throw me off? Do you want me to? No but I was just joking. I'm heavy. Not really. Dot dot dot. Am I in heaven? Is this what happens when Iwa likes me? I get piggyback rides? Oh my god. Keep talking and I'll throw you off no problem. Shutting up now. Dot dot dot. Are you sure this isn't uncomfortable? Not really. Oikawa reaches down to hook Iwaizumi's bag off his shoulder. What are you doing? I'll hold it. I'm on top after all. Dot dot dot. Not like that. I didn't even say anything. I could just tell. But I didn't even think of that. Ard. Oikawa presses his face into Iwaizumi's neck. Stop that tickles. Oh, does it? Oikawa moves his nose around and Iwaizumi flinches. Stop or I'm dropping you. Haha <laughs> okay. They walk in silence for a few seconds, ignoring the strange looks from other people on the street. Hey, Iwa. If we're together. Together. Does that mean I can make obscene comments about your arms? Iwaizumi chokes on air. WH what? I mean seriously, I've been drooling over these for years. Oikawa's hands unloop from around Iwaizumi's neck and starts to travel. Don't touch my fucking arms. Too late. Alright that's it you're going down. 
Iwayzumi lets go and Oikawa's feet land on the ground softly. Ahaha you're so innocent. No you're just cursed. So cursed. You love it. Oikawa dodges an incoming punch and runs down the street, still laughing. Get back here. Last one to reach Sija has to buy the other dinner. Fuck you you got a head start. Use those legs of yours. Catch me I dare you. Just like that, the two of them are racing down the street. Iwayzumi almost runs into a dog but he manages to stop. It costs him a few seconds though, and Oika reaches the Sija gates first. They're both panting when Oika says, Haha, Iwa you have to buy me dinner today. Whatever you cheated. Sore losser. Besides when do you ever pay when we eat together? Hey that's not my fault. Even when I offer you won't let me. HMPH. Such a gentleman. Shadow. Haha. Oikawa throws his arm around Iwayzumi's shoulder like he usually does. So, should we tell the others? About? About? Us. That we're dating. We're dating? I don't recall being asked to date anyone. Or asking anyone to date me. Iwa. It's US, I didn't think we needed to ask. That's cute. Dot dot dot. Ugh fine. Iwayzumi Hajime. Oh fuck he used my full name. Yes. What? I didn't even ask yet Iwa Lameo. Sorry Impulse. Impulse? Cause, you said my full name, stop laughing. Ahahaha sorry sorry I didn't know you were so weak to that. Hajime. Ugh shut up. Only if you will be my boyfriend. Of course I will. Good. Alright so now can we tell the others? Oh. Of course. Why not? Oika beams at him and Iwayzumi isn't sure what he did to deserve it. Okay. Maki and Matsun are going to freak. Haha. Ha. I think they've been waiting on us for a while. They definitely have. Oh my god Iwa what if we pretend like we didn't get together? Why would we do that? To watch Maki pop a vein, of course. Seems kinda cruel. Come on Iwa. Please E. It'll be funny. Alright whatever you say. You won't regret it. Oika drops his arm and the two walk into the gym. Iwayzumi, Oika. Maki, Matsun. Well? Well? Did anything happen? If I recall the bet ends today. Actually I have till the end of the day. But he gave up. I win. What? What? And nothing happened? No, nope, Iwa now has to be my personal servant for a day. That's it? No way. Yeah, what else would there be? No. Matsun. No. I can't believe these two. Matsun I'm down 500 yen for no reason? It's okay Maki it's okay. It's not okay. I paid someone to fake ask I caught out and these two are still like this. What? Wait what? You mean? That guy two days ago. You did that? What? No. Maki, you don't know when to shut up do you? Hide me Matsun. Maki. That was just cruel. Oh my god. I can't believe this. I'm sorry I couldn't resist some Maki meddling. For the last time Maki meddling should not be a thing. I want it to be a thing so it will be a thing. Sigh. I can't even. Oikawa. We got played. I know. I can't even believe you. Well I can't believe you too. I had to. You guys were getting nowhere. And you still aren't. We are. What? Shit. Stupid Kaya. Whatever. We are. We are together. Really? We were just pulling your leg earlier. See look. Oika reaches into his bag to pull out the rose. Iwa gave this to me this morning. Wow. That's romantic. Damn Iwayzumi go off. Shut up I just thought it would be a good idea. It was. I'm very happy. Oika leans into him and Iwayzumi blushes. Oh. My. God. They really are. They are. They're finally. Matsun I could cry. I've been waiting for so long. Please don't cry oh my god. I'm so happy for these two idiots. Ah. What the heck is going on over here? Why is Maki screaming? Isn't he always? Cough. Well. Actually everybody gather around. I have an important announcement. Okay. Well. Iwa and I. Oika pauses to grab Iwayzumi's hand. Are together. Hey, hey. Maki stop your scaring the first years. That's it. I thought they already were. Same. Huh? Oh congrats. Yeah, congrats you too. But we all saw this coming. Yeah. What? Nobody is surprised? No. A.W. Why are you guys so greed? Eight time ago back to spiking practice now. 
Yet by. Who I'll receive your spikes kyotony. Whatever. Dot dot dot. I would have that was so underwhelming. What did you expect Krapikara? GH you're still gonna call me that? Yeah. Rudy loudly crying face. You love it. GH. Did you just wink? Am I not allowed to wink now? No. You're not. It's too powerful. Maki pokes at a blushing Oikara. Lameo. He's just going to have to get used to it. Maki. I'm actually in heaven. So dramatic. Does this mean you two will go on a double date with us now? Sure. Iwa is paying because I beat him in a race earlier. You cheated. Dot dot dot. I don't even want to know. Guys it was so cute Iwa showed up on my porch this morning with the rose and he gave me a piggyback ride on our way over and. Oika nobody asked. Lolol Iwezumi is a softy confirmed. Ugh. I'm going to go practice spikes with Kyotony. With WHO as a setter hum. Yeah Habakun said to us both idiot. Fine. I'll be telling Maki all about how you turned bright red when I commented on you arm. I'm out. Goodbye. Lumfu. I do the same thing to Matson about his ob. Maki no. Maki yes. Ahaha Maki great minds think alike. Iwezumi wait up I'm coming with you. Sure man. They're crazy. I agree. The two walk towards the end of the court and Iwezumi turns his head back to look at Oika again. He and Maki are nearly doubling over with laughter, holding onto each other's shoulders. It's the cutest thing he's ever seen. He's crazy, but I still love him. Love, huh. Ah. Sorry didn't mean to dump that on ya. It's all good. I feel the same way about Maki. Hmm. Hey, which do you think is crazier? Oika or Maki? Definitely Maki. No way. It's definitely Oika. What? Did you even hear some of the things Maki said? And he literally paid someone to get you two together. Sure but at least Maki is normal some of the time. Oika is just crazy, 24 slash 7. No that's because you don't hang out with Maki as much. The two continue to bicker as they line up behind the court. Iwezumi catches Oika's eye from across the gym, and the setter sticks his tongue out at him. PFF. You're so whipped. Shut up. Matson snickers. But yet. Yeah, I am. Finn. And that is a wrap. Guys, I hope you all liked the ending, I really wanted to include more fluff this time as opposed to what I usually do, which is just cut the story off right after they confess Lameo. Anyways thank you all for your crazy support of this story. A quick message to the other text tubers out there, my channel was rejected from monetization a month ago for repetitious content. Do you guys have any idea what I can do to fix this problem? Because none of my videos are even close to copies of each other, I do have similar thumbnails sometimes but that's because of channel aesthetic and cohesiveness between videos, anyways if anybody can help me out, that would be awesome. I really don't want to get rejected again Lameo. Now for the thank yous, thank you all for 14k, we're steadily growing and it's amazing. If we can hit 20k I'll start a discord server for us all like you guys have been asking. My text copier this time around has chosen to stay anonymous, but you know who you are and thank you so much. Don't forget there's only two more days to enter my 10k story pitching contest. The link will be in the description. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You guys are the best.